What up, YouTube? So in today's video, we are going to be talking about depression and specifically the fact that you probably are not depressed. Probably not. Now, depression is a very serious thing. And if you truly feel like you have depression, then absolutely go get help. It's not something to laugh about and to, to, to scoff at. It's a very serious thing. I'm not trying to minimize that. But anyways, let's move into the video. My, my, the point of this video is that the typical person who thinks they have depression probably is not clinically depressed. I, I would say that 80% of people who are depressed today don't truly have depression, clinically speaking. The issue is that we have these, the modern day lifestyle, it just contributes to so many factors that, that lead to depression, that lead to having the feeling, the sensation of depression, a AKA having a sad lifestyle. And we're, we're not sad because of a chemical imbalance in our brain that causes depression. We're sad because of our life circumstances. And what you gotta realize is that if you just simply change your life circumstances and change change your habits that you're doing for about a week or so, a week, a week, you can feel so much better in just a short amount of time because there's so many factors that are destroying, destroying our, our mental health and that make you feel depressed. Like what? What, what, what factors are destroying our mental health? There's a lot of them. Let me, let me go down the list. Number one, not getting enough sleep. Number two, not getting enough exercise. Number three, sitting in one spot for too long. Number four, staying on social media for hours and hours a day. Number five, getting a bunch of blue light but not enough real sunlight. Number six, having a terrible diet. Number seven, not having genuine friends around you. That's off the top of my head. Seven very simple lifestyle changes that heavily, heavily impact the feeling of being depressed. So if you want to feel less depressed, and I highly encourage you to focus on those seven things because anyone can change those very quickly. You 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 can change the amount of sunlight you're getting. You can change you can change how long you sit down in one spot for. You can change your diet. You can change how much real light you're getting. You you can change all of these things. And if you feel like life is shitty and you're depressed and you're sad all the time, it might not be clinical. So you you should you should at least try you should at least try to to do the natural remedies to these things first and foremost before you assume that you have some type of clinical depression. Because oftentimes we don't. Oftentimes it's a matter of our it's, it's a matter of our life circumstances, and you can absolutely change those things. So I highly encourage you to to do the honest self reflection and ask if you are living life in such a way that it that it allows the feeling of depression to 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 prosper as humans we're not meant to to be these static creatures that are just attached to our cell phones and never moving out of our office seats and eating these fake processed foods and not getting any sunlight we're not made for that we're made to be out in nature connecting with real humans eating real foods, getting sunlight, just doing the things that we were naturally doing a thousand years ago, 500 years ago, a hundred years ago, that have become almost out of the ordinary in this day and age. So many things that are a natural part of our, of who we are as humans and what we've done naturally for thousands of years, we no longer do, or, or we at least do to a lesser degree than we normally would. And that has contributed to our feelings of widespread depression all across the country and all across the world because our bodies, <laughs> Our bodies were made and, and adjusted to our experience of what life was like for thousands, if not millions of years. Our bodies are used to nature. So over the past 100 years, we have moved away from that. and We become this, this domestic inside species. You know, we don't, we're not what we used to be. And our bodies and our brains have not adjusted for that. So you want to get yourself back into as natural of an environment as possible. You want to get away from the blue light. You want to get real sunlight. You want to stop sitting down for so long. You want to exercise. You want to eat real food. You want to get enough sleep. You want to especially stop stop getting blue light right before you go to sleep. There, it's so many simple things that you can do. And when you do those, I guarantee that you will feel less depressed within the span of a week. I, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got some value out of it. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just trying to provide some real value because if I would have had this three years ago, I could have avoided a lot of trouble in my own life when I was feeling sad and depressed and just hating life. 
And I don't want you to I don't want you to go through that. That's why I'm so passionate about this because we all have the power to improve our own lives and to escape from our own mental cages. We all have that power. But if you enjoyed this video, I highly encourage you to click on my channel down below and take a quick gander through my through my videos. I make videos about men's self-improvement topics. Women can watch too, but specifically designed for men. I talk about how to build a life of financial freedom through building businesses. Um, I talk about how to build an amazing physique as a man and how to optimize your hormones. And I talk about how to improve your lifestyle when it comes to dating and a couple other topics as well but all overall i just help men to build more beautiful amazing lives all around that they can be truly proud of and truly enjoy and if you want that subscribe down below and i will see you on the next video and never forget that consistency creates kings and if you are not consistent in the areas of your life that matter most to you then you are not going to see results peace out gentlemen